Okay, in this video, I wanted to talk about a couple of enhancements, two or three enhancements I put on the layout. The first one has to do with the program track. Uh, down here, you see my program track, which is isolated from the rest of the layout. <clears throat> you have a choice. You can have the program track have no connection to anything, so it's completely dead. That's the off indication here. You can have the program track connected to the main line. If you throw the switch this way, if you throw the switch to the top, the program track is actually connected to the output of the um, DCS-52. So you have three positions. Program, the center position is off, and below is main. So what I did was I made a tricolor bumper with a tricolor LED and this is described in my um, another video and I'll show you how that looks. Okay, you can see the red LED is on there in the program track and um, so that indicates that the program track is disconnected from everything. Um, I switch it to main and that shows that it's green and then I switch it back to off, it's red, and then when I switch it to program, it's blue. So I have a, a pretty good visual indication uh, right away of how the program track is, is hooked up. Uh, all this is explained in the video, the tricolor bumper LED, uh, how to make one and what the circuitry looks like. Okay, so the next tip on this, uh, number two, is crash avoidance. There's several ways to uh, hit or reduce or eliminate the voltage if you have a panic situation where two trains are crashing into each other, they're on the same track or they're about to go over the edge uh, of a yard or some, somewhere you don't want it to go. The first method is to turn off the booster switch. So I have a DCS-52 command station hooked up to a, um, a DB200 um, booster and this switch turns it on and off. So I could just turn off the booster like that. The problem with that is the train or the local will coast a certain distance before the track voltage reduces enough to completely stop it. And I thought that was a problem. The second way to stop the train right away is to hit the on off button on the Digitrax which is about 18 inches to the right of this control panel. So you have to find the little switch out of 16, the little push button, and push the button and that'll stop it. So I wasn't totally comfortable with that. So what I did was I installed a panic button here. And this panic button, all you have to do is push it. And it will it's in series with the uh, track voltage. It stops the train immediately. And it's easy and it's visible. The only problem is you can't tell if it's pushed. And many times if I pushed it and I turn off the layout and I go back, there's no track voltage, nothing works, and I'm trying to figure out why it didn't work because there's no indication on the, the panic button was pushed. So I put an LED here to indicate that when the panic button is pushed, this light will light up like that. So that tells me that the panic button is pushed, and to um, reset it, you turn this button clockwise. And all I did was take an LED, put it in series with a a resistor. Um, it can be either 680 ohm or a 1k ohm resistor and a diode. You can use a bridge rectifier uh, like I did in my video to measure track voltage, the quick and dirty track DCC indicator, or you know um, any diode in a, and a resistor uh, will work and that's a good indication of that that happening. So that's tip number two. All right, on tip number three, I use this quick and in, uh, dirty indicator I mentioned to show that there's uh, power on the tracks. But I was wondering if there was an easy way to do that. These block power faults on the PS, uh, PSXAR show when the, one of the blocks is, is failed, is a short circuit. So I'm going to short circuit one, one track. And you can see the power fault of this power district came on, the light came on, and 
you can reset it by pushing this button. Now that resets the power district. However, there's no real indication of whether there's power on the track unless you manually look at it with that cheap and dirty indicator that I, I made, I showed in another video. Um, so I decided to take one of the terminals, one of the uh, um, t uh, lights that is on a bumper and dedicate it to actually a power district. So if the light is on, then it shows this, this power on that track, or that particular power district. If the light is off completely, then you know there's no power going to that. So in this case, I have uh, a siding or a little yard with three tracks, and right now the lights are uh, red. Um, and if I flip it, flip the yard switch, you can hear the locomotive coming on, and it's green. They're all green. But if, if the, for some reason the power goes away on that uh, yard, then they, one of them would be out. So that's another quick indication. And, I, and I, I'm going to put that on uh, each power district that I have. I think I have four power districts. And uh, it's an, an easy way for me to tell if the track is actually live, not just shorted. So there you have it. Those are the three little tips I came up with for uh, wiring and uh, indicators on the layout. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.